What's going on guys, it's Zoko here to go over a nice money making spot in ESO. This is a great spot where you can make about 80k gold an hour farming only mud crabs. I know, stay with me. That 80k is just from the chitin though. You will also get some raw leather scraps you can either sell or roll the dice to try and get some drug wax. And obviously any of that you are able to sell is just going to be icing on the cake for your profits. In this video I'm going to show you the rotation of the spot and then go over what I was able to make after an hour of grinding and what that turns into in the end. Before jumping into the route if you like learning different money making methods for ESO along with other guides for that game and others please consider subscribing it is the easiest and best way to support my channel. Let's dive in. So again, what we are after today is mud crab chitin as our primary source of income. And obviously we are talking about selling that through a trader, but given the ability to have five guilds and how many guilds have a trader that don't require any dues, there's really no reason not to have at least one. Now again, farming mud crabs also gets you some leather scraps by extension. It's not the main source of income that we are measuring by, but obviously for some it will be an obvious benefit. The spot I'm going to show you is very easy to get to, just northeast of Sentinel and Alikir Desert, there will be a dock that has mud crabs spawning around it. Now just a warning, the main drawback of the spot is that it is boring. That shouldn't be a surprise though, I said we're hunting mud crabs and you guys have stuck with me this far, so good on you. Before we start, we also really need to make sure that the option to attack innocence is switched off in the game settings options. Otherwise, you will be tagging one of the NPCs in the area. Nobody wants to lose profits or at least be slowed down because of a stupid bounty. Our rotation today consists of four groups, or I guess it's pairs. Three of the pairs can be done at the same time with the fourth just a short ways further up the beach. There may be a sweet spot where you can gather them all, but the furthest one would reset when I was trying to figure it out, so I didn't really find it worth the time. By the time you run back, the first three groups will be getting close to spawning again, but they're not quite there yet, so you're not really messing up your efficiency by doing it this way. While waiting for a group to spawn, you can also gather some alchemy ingredients in the area. There are some that spawn nearby, so keep an eye out, and when they pop up, you should be able to grab them while waiting for spawns to reset. Now I'm going to show you how much I was able to get in about an hour of grinding. So what I gained during this session was 171 chitin, 85 rawhide, and 110 rubido leather. That rawhide would be rubido if this character had skill points into the clothing skill line, but you see where it's at, it's close to a full stack. Not bad for a spot that really isn't for uh, the purpose of farming leather. Again, my total gold earned is only including the chitin. I also don't take into account the carapace and sometimes that rare blue trash loot that sells for 250 gold, along with whatever other regions I'm able to pick up in between rotations. All of that is gravy. Going over what the chitin earns you, please keep in mind that the market always changes. This is just what we're looking at right now. Selling the chitin for 500 in piece, which with the 171 totals out at 85,500. And if you are able to sell everything at the 500 gold mark, you will be bringing back 79,515 when you account for the 7% loss between the guild trader and the game itself that needs a cut for some reason. And again, it's a trader, guys. This is not selling at an NPC. You may have to wait a little bit to reap the rewards. You gotta delay gratification a little bit. Nobody is saying stop doing your writs, stop finding other things to sell. Don't stock your trader with only chitin, but it's a very good option to have for your patrons. I've already sold a few pieces. Uh, I know over time I will end up selling it all. I may have to adjust my price if some of it's having a hard time, but you kind of figure that out with the experience. If you guys are bored of the normal grind and want something different to do to make some money, consider checking out this thieving route for the new city of Markarth. This is a silly guide on a route that I take through the new town. It is also a video I took an extremely long time editing. I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time.